Hey, cute people. I wanted to do this video because someone had asked me about my winter routine. And as you know, fall is here, winter's fast approaching, it's getting cold, and my hair has been dry like I don't know what. My apartment stays dry, hot, dry, hot, and just dry. My hair for the last past two days have really been catching it, but I try to give it as much TLC as I can every single day. So although I don't have a set routine for what I'm going to be doing this winter, this is something I've been doing the last couple of days and it's really worked well for my hair. My hair type, which is tightly, tightly called stays dry. So you know I have to stay up on my hair care maintenance or I will be losing all my hair. Here is my hair. It is dry right now, but not as dry as it can be or has been at certain times. And like I said, in my apartment, I have to be very, very careful along with the elements outside. It can just wreak havoc on my hair. So this is just one thing that I'm doing. And um, the product junkie and me, in another week, two, three, or four, and I'll tell you why, this will be something totally different. But right now, what I've been doing every night this first step I'm showing you, I haven't been doing every night. This I do a couple of times a week. Remember I showed you guys the um, oil setup that I had made, which was just at that time coconut oil and some lavender oil that I put together and was massaging my head with it, my scalp with it. Well, I did the same thing again, but I added some vitamin E in here too because I liked how the um, vitamin E that I had, I like how it smells. So... This one step I won't do, like I said, every night, but I'll do it at least um, three times a week. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. And I have a video on this, so I'm not going to say much about it right now, other than check out the video. And let me mention also that... Um, I usually do this before I take off any makeup on my face because a lot of times the oil gets all over your forehead, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, behind your ears. So me, myself, I'd rather do all in one, wash my face after this oil is in my hair and I've done whatever it is that I'm going to do to my hair, then I'll wash my face. That's just my preference. And so I massage my head for a couple of minutes. One or two minutes is really good. You don't have to do it very long. But um, check out my video that I did, um, which will give you some of the benefits of the scalp massage and um, coconut oil. Now my hair also, for the last couple of days, have been in big chunky twist. I took it out today only because when I put the coconut oil in my hair, I just want to make sure I get a lot of the coconut oil all over my hair. So I took the um, twist out. My hair is still parted and um, I'm going to show you what it is I've been doing the last couple of days which have been giving me some of the most moisturized and juiciest hair ever. I do mean ever and because my hair is already separated into the um, twists and also the two um, parts to do the twist I don't have to do much manipulation to my hair tonight the first thing I put in my hair and I cheated this is the onion juices and berries yeah I cheated you know why because when um, I had like maybe a third left in the bottle I put water in it to stretch it and it still works just as well and right now there's probably more water than anything in here because I stretched it again and it still smells good and it still works so I just spray this in my hair all products that I will be using are from onion handmade and I'm not taking my glasses off because these dark circles look make me look sick. Oh my goodness. After that, 
I then use the burnt sugar pomade. This is what I'm left with because I told you guys I've been using this stuff. I don't really get the purpose of these hard pomades, but it really works wonders. And I do this for every section of my hair. I try to pay more attention, of course, to the ends when I spray the um, juices and berries in my hair. And when I put on the pomade. And then, the last thing I use, which I don't have much of, is the Whip Shea Luxurious Healing Butter. You can use this on your body too. I love this stuff. There's not much left, but I can scrape a little bit, if anything, just to put on the ends of my hair. I wish I had shown you guys this before I used it all up, but... Like I said, I've been doing this for a couple of days, and I just love this stuff. My hair tomorrow is going to feel so nice and soft. And like I said, I just do it the past week. I've been doing it every day because the weather is cold in my apartment. They, they, they turned the heat on, so it's really warm. And then I just twist my hair. Okay, cute people, I'm back. I finally twisted up my hair. I'm done for the evening. It's not quite my bedtime, so I'm not going to tie it up. But normally I would just tie it up with my um, artificial silk scarf. <laughs> Satin scarf, whatever they may call it, that we buy from the beauty supply stores or whatever. That we now know is not really satin. But anyway, I try to com combat combat the dryness before my hair gets overly dry. And like I said, since the winter is here, my apartment is hot with the heat, my hair gets dry very quickly. So, and then the texture of my hair too, you know, that the oil from my scalp doesn't go down to the rest of my hair because I have tightly cold hair so I do all I can to bring moisture to my hair but the products that I use I thought I don't know why I said in two weeks I'll be using something else no tomorrow I'll be using something else because as you can see I am finished that one and I really really like this product I don't know if you know much about it I don't think I've ever done a review on this particular item but it was like a whipped shea and it smelled like a whip shade. The, cup, the scent that I have is rich almond and it smelled very good. I have just a dot dot touch of the pomade. So I'll be finished that in a couple of days. And the juices and berries that was saturated with a whole bunch of water. Look at like grease. Ugh. This is pretty much finished. So if you've ever seen my onion handmade haul that I did I think the end of last year or the beginning of this year when they had the Black Friday sale for 2012 all that stuff is gone. I would have been finished it but in the interim in between I use a lot of different products but I want to say also before I make this video longer than I really wanted it to be is that if you have dry hair try to hit up the dryness get rid of the dryness before your hair gets really really dry so if that's every day, then it's every day. If it's every two days, it's every two days. You don't have to go on a schedule like every three days. I can only uh, moisturize and seal my hair. You should do it when you start feeling your hair is getting dry. Hit it. Hit it with some moisture, some TLC. That's what I try to do. And this week here, because I really had to do it this week because I didn't wash my hair on Sunday. And moisture, um, well, water is the best moisture out. Now, right now, for some reason, these glasses are so <laughs> greasy. I can't really see you guys but anyway um that's really all I wanted to say was just make sure you keep moisture in your head especially if you have tight colds you're definitely going to need it I don't know if you would like to purchase the products that I use but those make my hair feel gloriously wonderful yes and that's it for me I am going to leave my hair like this until Sunday I have to go out tomorrow and I'm going to 
just do something really cute with my hair because these chunky twists I'm really feeling them I'm really really feeling them so I I'm going to end this video now because I want to get all this grease off my hand my head and the back of my neck that's so why I put this shirt on right here my lounge around the house shirt but um yeah I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video hopefully I'll see you in the next and I want you to share and spread love